Alright, so I'm finally back trying to do another one of these beginner guide type videos. Um, I want to talk about the archers a bit. I see that there's a lot of people on YouTube, Facebook, even Discord. Um, sometimes they post up pictures of their builds or videos, and a lot of people have noticed they're not using the archers. Um, some people use one or two. Some people just use none. I am... They are definitely some of the most powerful heroes in the game, especially um, mid and late game. Early games, honestly, the witches actually are pretty good. Um, but late game, mid game, and for dragons, like killing any kind of dragons, even especially hell mode, taking out the flying enemies, you absolutely need the archer trio at their strongest. So, ooh, that's a expensive ad. <laughs> so, what you want to do is you definitely want to put all three in your build. I would suggest putting them all in one row. Um, honestly, that's the only way to do it. If you notice on their passives, Archer Trio, um, the wording is kind of weird, but basically, as long as they're all in the same row, um, they the middle one will get the most buffs. They each give each other buffs. The middle one will get a buff from the left and the right hero. Um, the right gets a buff from the middle, the left gets a buff from the middle. But usually what you want to do is you want to put the dark, either the Dark Ranger or the Dark Elf right smack dab in the middle. I've done Dark Ranger for a long, long time. I'm actually thinking about switching it to the Dark Elf. Um, reason being is the Dark Ranger gets most of its power right here from its ability. It is 800% more damage. That's eight times the amount of damage it normally gets when it's be active. So, I mean, obviously... When it's not in active mode, it's, it's pretty much garbage, honestly. It doesn't hit very hard at all. Um, so, you usually, I, honestly, I'm at the point where I don't think there's any reason they keep him in the middle. I think I'm from here on out, I actually might run with Dark Elf in the middle. The extra HP and everything is a great help. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just don't put the Dark Hunter in the middle. He's an absolute waste. He does not deal any damage whatsoever. And so... He's only there to give the middle hero a damage buff. Um, or actually, that's attack speed, I guess. Huh. I was thinking that was damage. But yeah, so it buffs attack speed. My bad. I look like an idiot now. But no. <laughs> so he buffs attack speed on either side. So whichever one's in the middle is going to shoot the fastest. AKA, I guess, do more damage. So kind of the same difference. But, so I would always put, yeah, the Hunter, or don't put the Hunter in the middle. Put one of the other two. Now, the Hunter, you want him in there, though, because he buffs the middle one, like I was saying, but he also helps Town Archer speed, um, which can, if later game especially, I mean, right where my Town Archers are right now, 60,000. 31,000 damage. I mean, that is a shit ton of damage. So, what you want to do is definitely put him in there, just don't put him in the middle. And then, okay, so we're going to go over the items on these guys. Um, oh, and first of all, go dark on every single one of those. Dark Ranger, Dark Hunter, Dark Elf. You don't want to go with Sniper, don't go with Dark Bowman. Oh, actually, I guess that's an option. Ranger is the way to go, not Bo Dark Bowman or whatever it is. Um, Bowmaster. It, the ability only lasts five seconds, not seven, so always go Dark Ranger. For Hunter, the Sniper's just not as good. Go Dark Hunter. It always pans out a little bit better damage. Dark Elf. You can go White Elf if you want, but it only gives mana. It doesn't give any HP. A lot of people are suffering from HP, so I always go Dark Elf. It's pretty much a given. Um, now, on the items, Dark Ranger, you want to go Damage. He's there to do a crap ton of damage as fast as humanly possible. To end the waves, end the dragon boss you're killing, and kill even straight up bosses. Um, so with wave skips, you want him to just wreck. So you want to put, as often as you can, put double damage on there. Um, I have, yeah, double damage bow. Pretty good. Not the best rolls, but pretty good. And then, <clears throat> for the necklace, yeah, I have, this one's kind of optional. I actually have a double damage ring. But I've swapped it out recently. I kind of just got bored, I guess, of having flat damage on him. And I'm trying to try out cooldown. The slow, I don't know if that really helps much, but I figure the cooldown will help. And that's a pretty high damage roll for a, uh, or a high, pretty high roll for the damage. So, you can go double damage or cooldown damage, but you want to get as much damage in there as possible. Um, and what else? Okay, so, and then also on damage uh, items, until he's like level 3, 3,000, 3,500, you always want to go flat damage, where it's just a damage plus, not damage percent. 
because it just doesn't scale well. But eventually, once you get 3,000, 3,500, for pretty much, it applies to almost any hero. Once you get to about that point, go percentage, never use flat damage again. That's just a plus. It's not worth it. Um, it does not really help that much. So you always want to go scaling damage with that percent once they're about 3,000, 3,500 levels. Um, so that's kind of it on Dark Ranger. Just a crap ton of damage. Maybe a little bit of cooldown, but just mainly damage. Um, Dark Hunter, straight cooldowns. He is only there to buff the town archers and, and buff the middle archer. He does not do any damage as of or like by himself. He's garbage. Um, you can look in here, just did a whole battle. You can see how town archers, 306 million damage. That's a crap ton of damage. And then you go down here, where is the Dark Hunter? Where is he? Oh, uh, where is he? Oh, look at that. Bottom. Like, one-tenth, like a hundredth of one percent or something. Garbage. Just garbage. So, yeah, obviously, don't even level him, honestly. Just leave him real low. I keep him at a thousand. I wouldn't have minded keeping him at 30 levels, or even one level, honestly. Well, I guess you want 30 at least, so you get the promotion. But, at 31. But other than that, keep him low. Just for the uh, low 8 mana, so it doesn't cost crap ton. Um, I don't know if actually... Is it a scaling mana? I don't think it might... I think it might just be a flat mana now. That might have actually been changed, but... Anyhow, ignore that, whatever. Just leave him a low level. It's not worth dumping gold on him. Um, but just go cool down. That way you can use his ability, ability, ability. That's always good for, really. It's just his ability so that he... The town archers do more damage. And then, for Dark Elf... This one, you really, yeah, again, you just want scaling damage, at, you know, flat damage up to 3,000, then scaling damage. Um, and it also helps, well, I'll get to this in a moment, but, yeah, you want to throw damage on there. This is crit chance, it's not that great, but you can see right there, plus one arrow, archer type only. That, if it's, it's hard to get legendary items, even for me, who's ranked 12, 13 in the game, it's hard to get really good legendary rolls. So, plus one archer type. Or arrow for the archer types is hard to get. Sometimes with the actually, you know, damage and crit chance is not that bad. I prefer double damage. That'd be amazing with the extra arrow. The extra arrow basically doubles the damage. So you see 16,000, he'll do 32,000. Um, so you just, you always want to get double arrows on the Dark Elf if you can. You want to get the extra arrow. The Dark Ranger, again, since he's mainly there for his ability, you don't really want to put an extra arrow because extra arrow does not apply to his ability. So it won't make him do um, 1,600 damage extra, or 16%, or 1,600% extra damage. Um, it'll only be 800, and the arrow just won't even apply unless he's just doing his manual attack. So don't even worry about throwing uh, an extra arrow on there. Just main leave it. I have it on Hunter as well, just because, hell, why not? Tiny bit extra damage. It's kind of a waste, honestly. I probably should just put double cooldown on him. Um, another thing, um, you do not ever, ever want to put knockback items on archers. You always want these archers targeting air or AI. I do AI right now because, um, I mean, not AI. I do uh, near because I like to take down the um, Tarin as fast as possible so that then they can just destroy whatever they want. Um, but typically, Hell Mode, most people for waves and such, you want to go air. That way, you just after flying, that way it absolutely did, destroys those freaking cancers. Um, so yeah, you always want to mainly go near or um, air on that. And so, but that's what I was getting to was um, knockback items or archers cannot knock back. Nobody can knock back flying enemies. You can only stun them. And even stun does not help that much. I had full stun on Dark Hunter. Some of the Dark Elf are absolute garbage. It did not help at all. I wouldn't even worry ever about doing um, stun. Don't do knockbacks. Mainly just go for damage and maybe some attack speed. But primarily damage and cooldown. If not just straight up damage on the archers. Um, so yeah, so some tips, kind of go back over, always want them in one line, almost always use all three, if you're going to drop one of them, drop the Hunter, but you always, always, always want Dark Elf and Dark Ranger in there, always, no matter what heroes, no matter what you're doing, always have those two in there, because the Dark Elf will heal you and give you mana like crazy, especially once you max them out or you get them like two or three thousand way, uh, two or three thousand levels. 
you throw an extra arrow on that guy, he can just, you will never run out of mana, ever, at a certain point. I can do infinite, and just absolutely, it just destroys everything. I never run out of mana. I never have to worry about it. So, yeah, you always want to, I would say that the our Dark Hunter, though, I mean, the Dark um, Ranger, that should be the very first hero you ever max out. I would prioritize him two or 3,000 levels at a certain point, higher than anybody else. So I would say get most of the heroes you're using, give them a thousand, two thousand maybe, but then you get that dark, uh, <clears throat> dark ranger, max him out faster than anything else. Maybe get three or four thousand the dark elf levels, but then get that ranger maxed as fast as possible. He will single-handedly win over and over and over in damage. Um, another tip is if you're doing um, sin or you're doing Legendary Dragon or any dragon, you always want the uh, your heaviest damage guys, which is the archers, to target boss. That way they don't target the super little minions, they just take the guy right out. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of getting to the territory now, talking about other things. I can make another guy later. Um, damn, this is 11 minutes. Um, hopefully if you stuck around, it, this is kind of a help. Oh, wow. That's fine. Hopefully this is a bit of a help. Um, it might not be helpful. You might already know this. You probably, most people haven't listened all the way through. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, put them in the comments. Um, I'm, like I think I, one guy was saying recently, it looks like he, I uh, took one of his comments and I made a whole video about it. Um, which is something I want to start doing. It's going to help everybody out, I figure. Um, just throw some knowledge out there. So if you got any questions, comments, throw them in the comments, and I will get back to it, hopefully with the video or at least a comment reply. Um, hope everybody's having a great day.